getting a little better at dodging here. Duh! Oh, wait, you came back? What the hell? Get so distracted by you coming back! Return of Jerry! <laughs> Awkward. Um. Seriously. Goodbye. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. You won! <laughs> <laughs> There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click! Really? What happened? What did I do? The switch is stuck now. Yes, you read that correctly. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's cool. I accidentally... the... the puzzle... guys. <laughs> so good at this shit. Hmm? This looks serious. What's that smell? What is that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Uh, hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Dog guy assault you. They are kissing. Dog Amy. Dog Aressa. Dog Amy? Or Dog Amy? Hmm. Do I have anything that will, like, change my smell in? Maybe not. Oh, I could roll around, maybe. Dog Amy, husband of Dog Ressa, knows only what he smells. Let's kick human tail! Or do humans have tails? Oh god. Oh god. You are radiating hearts at me. The dogs keep shifting their axes to protect each other. Dog Ressa. This puppy finds her hubby lovely. Smells only? Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. Oh god. How am I supposed to- Oh god. That was bad. The dogs are practicing for their next couples contest. Um. Roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Number two <laughs> puzzle champs not you. Of course we were second. The dogs may want to re-smell you. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. What? Smells like a- are you actually a little puppy? Whoa, that's dangerous. Dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. The dogs already know you smell fine. Hmm. You pet dog in Wow, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. Were the blue hearts the ones that you just don't move and you don't get hit? Maybe? Oh yeah, maybe. You pet the dog, Aressa. A dog that pets dogs! Amazing! What about me? 
Oh my god! Oh, dog petting as a mechanic is so good. The dog's minds have been expanded. <laughs> you won! Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy! Thanks, <laughs> weird I want a shirt that says that. Just oh weird puppy, God. all lowercase. Yes. Like just Ariel, something like something really plain. Just weird puppy on the back and really tight text. Thanks. <laughs> oh my God! Thanks, weird puppy. I'm gonna cry. This is the best game. For the record, I, I just listened to Mom's Spaghetti again. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. You know what's even funnier? Um, so, a while ago, I had a... I, I went on a trip. And um, one of the people, we went to karaoke, and one of the people there, like, they decided to put on that song, except, like, two of the other people only knew it as Mom's Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did the person who put it on, like, actually, like, who raps at karaoke? My- that person. He does. Yeah. He raps at karaoke. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> I- I know, I do the same thing with guys. Okay, you, guys. you know what? No. No. I did a duet of Hip Hop Apotamus vs. Rhymnoceros. That- that's a good one. Okay, okay but that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> there's- there's funny- there, there's funny rapping at karaoke and there's, like, no- the the oh. best part is that David, I'm like, I, I, I said, or I asked, I, I had just arrived, and I, and I asked David for the book, and I, and, and he hands it to me, and I'm flipping through, and I find Flight of the Concords, and it's like, okay, yes, this, this is good, yes, and I, I text him, because I don't want to show our hand, I text him, Oh my god, they have hip hop up on us versus And I it, I'm putting this in. And and then like I just I you know pocket my phone and the, the book gets passed around again. And then like five minutes later, he's looking through the book and exclaims, Oh my god, they have hip hop bottomus. Matt, let's sing this. <laughs> and I press the button. <laughs> to show the next song and it's already queued up as the next song. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that was the plan. I texted you five minutes ago. So dumb. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his sp spaghetti? Uh, yeah, I left it. Really? Wowie. You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. My brother started a sock collection recently. How sad me. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> yeah. He 
human. Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze the ground. Now the solution is different, and, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere to be found. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human! I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Oh, these nerds are growing on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty fond of these two idiots so far. So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all the X's into zeros. You should try that. Ask again for more great hints! it all without my help. Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> what a nerd. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. The human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. Alphys? You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you! Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious! <laughs> Blue... <laughs> Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. What's... Oh lord. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Ooh. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery slope smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that, understand? Um... That was a lot. Oh, okay, I guess I'll repeat myself. So, can't pass the red. Yellow is electric. Blue, fight monster. Green is... Green is water, orange is orange. If you step on orange, don't step on green. Brown tiles are... Wait, there are no brown tiles! You're... Wait, weren't you saying the blue tiles are water tiles? Weren't you saying green tiles are water tiles? Oh my god! <laughs> now he's getting mixed up! Purple tiles smell like lemons. Why don't the yellow ones smell lemony? Um, wait, <laughs> did I mix up green and blue? The blue ones are water ones. Pink tiles, I don't remember? Wait, those ones don't do anything. Okay, 
Do you understand? I'll just say yes. Yes. Okay, you I'm know. I'm really hoping that there's just a, a route through it. How about you just do this puzzle on your own? I'll leave the instructions. Just read them. Then when you understand it, you can throw the switch. And do it at your own pace. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I literally just passed the puzzle by not understanding his explanation. <laughs> Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. It's illegible chicken scratch. The machine isn't working. Oh. <laughs> so it wouldn't have even worked in the first place, and oh my god. <laughs> what? Wh what? Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. On the floor inside is a box of palm palmer raisins. <sighs> Aware of dog. Please pet dog without a knee. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. If you don't over-pet, the snow dog is much simpler. Oh my gosh. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Oh boy. Ice puzzles. It's this way. What the? It's a snow papyrus. It's pretty well made. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. <laughs> wow, sans. <laughs> Didn't try at all. That was easier than I thought. Um, I'm still sliding. What's going on? What? There's snow on my head. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold! A snow puff! Eh? There's a 30G inside this. What is this? It's a snow puff. Uh, oh. Doggy? Bark, bark. Oh, hi. How did you fit in that <laughs> snow puff? Oh my god, this music! <laughs> um, by the way, this sure is some music. <laughs> oh god. It is the greater dog. <laughs> greater dog. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Oh, oh. Can I pet you? 
Mm, too far. You just cut the air. <laughs> Uh, hey, come here! <laughs> you call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber in your face. <laughs> oh, huh, that's interesting. Attack. Greater dog is seeking affection. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it pet as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, yes. it falls asleep. Z's. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Sight. Bee dog is great. Hmm. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. <laughs> oh. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh, dang it. Greater Talk wants some TLC. Oh, wait, first. Let me eat this ice, ice cream. Love yourself. I love you. Re you recovered 15 HP. Uh -huh. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. Pet capacity is 40%. <laughs> you pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Greater dog is contented. No, oh, who's a good puppy? <laughs> good puppy. Oh, puppy. Oh, my face. I... I love the dogs. I love the dogs so much. Woof. It must be bigger on the inside. <laughs> so Sans is down here. Maybe I, oh. Sans was down here. Oh. Whoa. Gift rot. Congrats, you. Some teens decorated as prank. Is this funny to you? <laughs> Gift rot laments its lack of hands. Undecorate. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. Oh. That's a little better. Gift Trot is slightly less irritated. You remove the lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. A weight has been lifted. Gift Rock's problems have been taken away. Squeaky mushroom lamps. We'll come back. Oh. 
Oh, it isn't not. Okay. I'm sad I missed Sands down there. I wanted to talk to him. This is a very long bridge. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Wow. Is that a dog? <laughs> when I say- I hope the answer is yes. When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire! Spikes will swing! Blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the holdup? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... Uh, I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. <laughs> well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, well, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are- Standard standards. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. <sighs> what are you looking at? This is another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Heh. Heh? <laughs> I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh! Welcome to Snowden! Ha 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 ha! <sighs> okay. Let's continue. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Oh, cute! Hello, Traveler. How can I help you? Oh. Ah, uh, hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbeast has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap in the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. <laughs> There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. <laughs> the town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our, out our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Manly bandana. It has abs on it. <laughs> bicycle heals 11 HP times 2. Eat it twice. Oh, bicycle. Cinnamon bun heals 22 HP. It's my own recipe. Thank you. 
Bye now. Come again sometime. Let's equip this manly bandana. We're so manly. Mandana. <laughs> Mandana. Rose gold. God no, fuck that. <laughs> huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in the jiffy. Wow. <laughs> Shot down. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowden. Snowed in Snowden's premiere. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. How can they use the same you're, pun twice? You're you're gonna you're gonna they wake up and you won't be able to get out the front door. You realize that, right? Oh. God. You're, you're gonna be snowed in in the snowed in in Snowden. <laughs> Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Wow. Snoring knows as much. <laughs> and now it's a song. Look like you had a great sleep, <laughs> which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if we're going to stay overnight. <laughs> Wait, do I have to stay there like the entire song in order for it to actually be all night? Like she actually gave me my money back. Oh, hey. I have HP 30 out of 20. Amazing. Don't walk to the other side of town. Try the undersnow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Oh my god, there are so many bunny people, bunny monsters in here. <laughs> Those bunny monsters. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee -hee. She has a pet of a tiny bunny. Okay. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like coins, so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing those teens tormented that monster. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Okay. Seems legit. <laughs> Seems legit. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. Bun, 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 bun. I think I figured it out. No, never mind. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. What? That's, that's politics! What? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, seems legit. Politics. <laughs> oh hey, it's those dogs. Wow, this sure is a cr crowd. Okay. 
No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and uh, <laughs> hot guys! I guess the bartender's kind of <laughs> hot. Well... Uh. <laughs> hmm... Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. For centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. Ah. <laughs> we love bones. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Are they all playing poker or something? Dogs playing, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just makes a funny face with a like a sound effect. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> so this is lesser dog, greater dog. Oh no, why can't I remember this this dog's name? And then dog me and dog Arella? Don't remember. It's a lot of dogs. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. Doggo. <laughs> Thank. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I want to be like Undine when I grow up too. <laughs> Dog uh, Dogarussi. Okay, dog me and Dogarussi. Thank you, Kane. <laughs> I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking um. that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Wow. Wow. I guess I could ask out Undine, but I think she likes someone already. Dots. Groves said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Oh. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slackers slickers slip onto their butts. Yeah, bring them on. The jukebox is broken. I'm gonna actually sit in one. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no sitting for me. Oh no, this little mouse is wrapped up in, this, in so much scarf. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our own our modern crisis, dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. At least I'm not making puns. <laughs> we all know the yeah, underground. Yeah, that going for you, scarf mouse. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Smile, smile. It's kind of sad. It's Let's play Monsters and Humans! You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Aw, oh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. What are these tiny little slime rock slimes? Mm -hmm. 
Ah, what a beautiful knock! Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Oh god. Can I knock forever? Amazing. Uh, I'll keep exploring in a sec. Library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Wait. Libra... Lib Librarby. <laughs> it's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What? <laughs> wow. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> oh. Hello. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. <laughs> monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached that what we now call our capital new home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. It's a... ouch. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh. When I was younger, my teachers gave me words such as when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Wait, was she the one that made that thing back there? <laughs> mm -hmm. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Whoa, that's a lot of mail stuffed in there. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Oh, I guess. Look inside. It's empty. Good job, Sans. You don't even care. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked from the inside. Wee. Nice. <laughs> huh. Okay. Hello, sir. May I talk to you? No? I guess I'll be getting in the way of your important ice block throwing work here. <laughs> hmm. It's kind of ominously quiet over here.
Whoa. Whoa. Oh god, I can't see. I can't see! Oh, hi. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another puzzle, another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer! I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Aw, oh, let's not do this, Papyrus. Powerful, popular, and prestigious are all words that I would use to describe Papyrus. <laughs> yes. And as it pleases the theme song. <laughs> Hang on, my throat is. I need a drink. <sighs> I feel like it's been a while since I've played a, a game. I've been. I just read constantly. <laughs> Yeah, his spray is pretty great. <laughs> He's so fabulous. Look at that, look at that smile, man. That's a winning smile. Alright, let's check him out. <laughs> Flirt insult. Papyrus, attack, eight attack, two defense. He likes to say, yeah. Yeah. Genochi is a skeleton. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that did nothing. <laughs> that was so pitiful. <laughs> um. <laughs> Kari is gonna have to flirt with him. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my god. What? F flirting! So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Red. Oops, Red. Oh, well, I I'm a skeleton with very high standards! I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming quality. <laughs> I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go out on a date with you? Let's do it later, after I capture you. <laughs> Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for this date. <laughs> oh sweet Jesus, this is wonderful. Oh no! so you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fable blue attack! Okay, here we go. Yup. Yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> oh! What happened? You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> Oh. Hey, hey now, what the fuck just happened? Excuse me, baseline now. This game is amazing. Wow. Hmm, I wonder what I 
that she wear? Oh. oh man, this music suddenly got really, like, even better. <laughs> Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. <laughs> he. Oh baby. He has ears. Try holding the up button to jump. God, that's so good. That's such a nice little adjustment to the whole mechanic. Papyrus dabs MTT brand Vichy cream behind his ear. <laughs> what? Spooky I'm not thinking Vichy about that. Skeletons. I'm not thinking about that date thing. <laughs> oh god, these jumps! Oh god, these jumps! <laughs> Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder by this year. <laughs> Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
give up or face my special attack. Papyrus whispers. <laughs> yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Unicycle? <laughs> Not too long, I'll use that special attack! Papyrus is considering his options. This is your last chance before my special attack! Ah, I keep. Oh, can I get it? Behold! My special attack! Uh... What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna... I'm gonna cry. This is the best game to ever game. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh. Whoa! You're saying normal? This is hard! <laughs> Jesus. Oh god, the bone! Why would you do that, cool dude? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the fuck? What Are you okay? <laughs> He's a cool dude. Oh my god, Peachy! Peachy breathe! That was... that was pretty great. This was... this was all... Oh my god. ...that we've just been on together. Oh my god, rip. Rip Peachy. <laughs> Slow deep breaths, girl. Slow deep breaths. You're okay. I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. I am literally lightheaded. Holy Jesus. Oh. Okay. That sure was a normal attack. <laughs> that was so that was the most boring normal attack I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> oh my god, this this entire thing has been fucking magical. I'm gonna cry. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Well, it's clear. You can't oh, defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is staring you. <laughs> 